This is Apollo Control at 102 hours, 12 minutes into the flight of Apollo 11. We're now 2 minutes, 53 seconds from reacquiring the spacecraft. 21 minutes, 23 seconds from the beginning of the powered descent to the lunar surface. It's grown quite quiet here in Mission Control. A few moments ago, Flight Director Gene Kranz uh, requested that uh, everyone sit down, uh, get prepared for events that are coming, and he closed with the remark, good luck to all of you. Uh, here in the, uh, on the front of our display boards, uh, we have uh, a number of big plot boards which will be used to keep track of the uh, burn progress. Among the more important of those is one which will show the performance of the onboard guidance systems, both the primary and the backup guidance system, and compare the guidance systems with the manned spaceflight network tracking. Uh, these displays, by the time this is all over, will look a good deal like a combination Christmas tree, 4th of July. Uh, we're now one minute 39 seconds from reacquiring the command module, Columbia. Acquisition of the lunar module will come a little less than two minutes after that. At the time we, we acquire the LAM, it uh, should be at an altitude of about 18 nautical miles, descending toward the 50,000 foot paracynthian, from which point the powered descent to the lunar surface will be initiated. Uh, if for any reason the crew does not like the way things look as they're coming uh, across the Paracynthian. Uh, simply by not initiating the maneuver, they will remain in a safe orbit, uh, uh, 60 miles by 50,000 feet. And if uh, they desired, they would be able to attempt the powered descent uh, on a following revolution at a ground elapsed time of about 104 hours, 26 minutes. We are now coming up on 30 seconds to acquisition of the command module. Uh, we'll stand by for uh, that event. Network controller says we have acquisition of signal from the command module.